Hey everybody, how you doing? <clears throat> Mikey's back. Today I am cracking open a fresh can of something I have not tried before. Uh, I was doing winter greens this morning and I'm in the mood for a natural. So I'm trying Skoll Long Cut Classic. Now I'm going to assume that this is a natural. It doesn't say natural, but I'm going to assume that. <clears throat> Nice silver and black can. This one here, I got uh, about six weeks left on the Best Buy date. I'll go with that. Cracking this bad boy open. Well, I do like the skull cans, they open nice and easy. Oh, this can's got a dent in it. And a little dent up here on the corner. Oh well. Yep, it's a natural. There's a few nibblings there. Give you an idea what the cut is like. Yep, definitely a natural. Dark fired tobacco. That's all I'm getting. A uh, pretty good dark fired tobacco aroma off this thing. Pretty nice. And it's touch on the dry side, typical for skull. I notice they're not as moist as Copenhagen or nowhere near as moist as Stoker's. That's the moistest stuff I've encountered so far. Anyway, there you go. Catch the autofocus there. Yeah. All that tobacco-y goodness. Back it off just a touch. Get some light shown there. There we go. I'm going in. Yeah, I just finished watching a NASCAR race. If you're in the NASCAR and you haven't seen the Xfinity Series race for today, October 12th, good one. Some of the best driving I've seen in a long time. They were duking it out to the what we thought was going to be the end, but it went into overtime. But yeah, that, the guy who was leading up to the overtime on the final lap, he drove his heart out, man. That was some awesome driving. Anyway, back to the Skull Classic. <clears throat> it is a natural. A little bit of salt, not much. Nor near as salty as some uh, Stoker's. Actually, no, I haven't tried Stoker's natural. <clears throat> that can is still sealed, too. <clears throat> not as salty as Copenhagen. Maybe along the lines of Red Seal and saltiness. The Red Seal is nice. Um, it doesn't have as much salt as the Copenhagen products do. At least for my taste. This has got light salt. It's there, but it's not overly salty. Dark fire tobacco flavor. Starting to juice up nicely. A little bit more salt kicking through now that's juicing up. But it's still not as salty as the Copenhagen products. Yeah, I'd put it along the lines of Red Seal for saltiness. Which we go to figure because they're all part of the same happy dipping family. Red Seal's part of the Skull Copenhagen family of products. Yeah. Yeah, I finished my hunting this morning. Came here, did some chores, watched an NASCAR race while I was working. Got some more stuff listed up on eBay. It's been a semi-productive day, but for the most part, I sat in the woods for half the day. That's nice and relaxing. Nothing will get the blood pressure down like sitting in the woods listening to the rain. Yeah, Skull makes a good natural. I like this. It's very reminiscent of Red Seal. But, you know, Red Seal... Is good. It's not as salty, but I do like the economy. You get the extra, you know, quarter ounce or half ounce or however much they give you. 25% more, they say. I've been dipping that a couple of times this week. 
And I'm looking at myself talking to my phone, man, I need to shave. I didn't shave this morning, and I think I forgot to shave yesterday, too. Hold on. When you're old, you're not trying to impress anybody. Who cares? I am what I am. Not feeling a whole lot of nicotine off this yet. Odds are I will be in the next couple of minutes. But it is a Skull product. I have noticed that they're not as up there on the nicotine levels as their Copenhagen counterparts, which is good. There are times when, you know, you don't want to get bowled over by nicotine, don't need a massive hit, just a little bit will do you. I'm not in this for the nicotine buzz. I, I like my nicotine, but I don't like my nicotine to kick my butt, so. But yeah, this is pretty good stuff. It's got really good flavor. If you like naturals, this is pretty good. Not real high on the salt content. The dark fired tobacco flavor is shining through. Juicing up really nice. No floaters to speak of. Skull makes a good product. I like Skull. I know they catch a lot of hate online for some of their fruity stuff, especially that citrus. Ugh. Still having flashbacks to that. But yeah, over and all, you know, I like the Skull Straight. I'm liking the natural now. Um, their spearmint is, I tried only tried the pouches of the spearmint. I got a can of the long cut here. That spearmint stuff I really like. It's different, so which is nice. I am feeling some nicotine from this now. Like I said, it's not bowling me over, but it's there. You know, it's upper mid, upper or upper minimum to a nice mid strength nicotine. Well, I'm starting to tell. But yeah, this is pretty good stuff. Mikey likes it. Definitely getting the tobacco flavor through, which is really nice. I like tobacco flavor. There are times when I've been dipping wintergreens and mints, and sometimes I wish, you know, it'd be nice if some tobacco flavor would come through on these, but they usually don't because the mint is just so stinking strong that it, you know, and the wintergreen, that it covers up the nice natural tobacco flavors, which when I start dipping in natural, it cures that itch for a natural tobacco taste. Yeah, this is holding together really well. It's just one nice big solid clump right there. Not going anywhere. Just staying put. I like it. This is pretty nice stuff. The salt is still lingering, but it's not overpowering. I've noticed with some of the others, you get really nice salty feeling, and then it kind of tapers off after a few minutes. With this one, the salt is sticking around. It's not, you know, too much salt, but it's, it's sticking around. It's letting me know that it's there, so which is nice. This is a nice product. Skull Classic. Kind of reminds me of Red Seal. Slightly different flavor. Um, different tobacco blend that they use and aging and all that fun stuff. I'd be curious to see how long they age the different tobaccos. There's no way they're going to tell you what their blend is. But I'd be curious to know what the aging time is between Copenhagen Skull, Husky, and red, uh, red seal you'd be curious to see if that has something to do with the depth of flavor and the robustness and crispness that you get off of the various blends a lot of it probably has to do with the tobaccos each one's got their own recipe it's much like blending a cigar um cigars they have you know the the time they take in the making a cigar um they test certain leaves and they see how fast they burn and then they compare that with like the the, the filler the binder the wrapper and they want to make sure they all burn fairly evenly that way you have a nice even burn on your cigar all the way down they have you know, each one each manufacturer has got their database of you know this crop burns this this crop burns that long and they use that whenever they're formulating blends to put together to make a new cigar Hmm. Yeah, and I was reading about the um, uh, basically a moratorium on new dip flavors. Um, how it's extremely difficult to get a new dip flavor 
but I don't think any of the major manufacturers have to worry about that. They've been around for so long. They probably have hundreds of different formulas and flavors on the books already. And all they do whenever they want to have something new come out is they just revive an old formula. It's already on the books. They may have, they might rename it, but the formula, the blending of tobaccos and the flavorings and stuff are already in existence. They've been there for quite some time. I think that's some, uh, what the story is with that uh, Copenhagen Reserve. That's been the unicorn around here lately. I have not been able to find it. Uh, one of the shops near where I work, he says he's going to be getting it in. Um, he said he'd bring it. He'd bring in a roll just for me to try. Um, great group of people who run that store. They're from Pakistan. Um, it's the Ameri their their quintessential American dream. Family came to this country with next to nothing. They've worked their butts off, did what they had to do, and now they own a little convenience store over in Coos Bay. And the dad is a father, son, and mom who run the place. And mama's, she can cook. They serve some Indian food there during the lunch hour. Oh, man. Convenience store sells Indian food. You know, or Pakistani food or whatever you want to call it. They call it Indian food. Just to help the Americans grasp the concept. But yeah, she's she's a hell of a cook. Um, she makes everything from scratch. And the son, Raj, or excuse me, Roger. That's his American name. He likes to be called Roger, but his real name is Raj. Um, he says he's going to try and score me some Copenhagen Reserve. So hopefully, Roger, you'll come through. He's a really nice guy. We're a great family. Like I said, they're living the American dream. They've worked their butts off. They saved for years, and now they have their own shop. Okay, that's what immigration should be. People coming over here. And live in the American dream, not coming here looking for handouts. So, and they came into this country legally. So, and they're quite proud of that. They actually have a sign, a little placard, you know, we are here legally. Thank you, America. God bless everyone. So, it's pretty cool. Anyway, back to the Skull Classic. Nice. Saltiness is now starting to die down. Um, but the tobacco flavor is still there. Um, I'm going to call this moderate nicotine. I can feel it, but it's not kicking my butt, which I, I like. I like to feel my nicotine without my nicotine feeling me. So, at least not too much. Anyway. Skull Classic. It's a good blend. Lighter on the salt than the Copenhagen products. Tobacco flavor comes through. Different flavor, uh, different blend, different aging, all that fun stuff. But yeah, it's holding together extremely well. I've had, I've been yammering on now for what, 10, 13 minutes? No floaters at all. Gotta love it. Now that I said that, I got a floater. <laughs> Go figure. I jinxed it. Anyway, those are my first thoughts of Skull Classic. I like it. Light smokiness to the natural tobacco flavor, but very light. It's just a nice, easygoing, natural tobacco flavor that's lighter on the salt, so it doesn't the salt doesn't bowl you over. I'm going to keep this in for a while and continue about my day. You all have a good one. This is Mikey. These are my first thoughts on Skull Classic in the black and gunmetal gray type can. You all go out and have a good one. Take care.